Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. It sure was a fantastic Friday. Started off with sunshine for most and temperatures not too hot. Look at this in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 83 for Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, 79 Scotts Valley, mid to upper 70s inland in Santa Cruz, but near the Santa Cruz beaches in the 70s, 70 degrees for Capitola and Aptos. As we head inland, it did get a little warm in spots like Gilroy, Morgan Hill, 86 for Gilroy. But as we go into the weekend, these temperatures look like they are going to drop a bit as we have some cooler air moving in. 72 for Watsonville earlier today, as well as Prunedale. Some near 80s for the Salinas Valley, 82 for King City, 70 in Salinas, and lots of mid-60s for the peninsula. 66 for Pebble Beach, Carmel, and Carmel Valley, 76. Beautiful conditions at the coast. Here's the view from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Lots of sunshine there, and temperatures not too cool yet. 64 degrees, little bit of a breeze though coming in from the west at eight miles per hour. Relative humidity though, relatively low for now. Not seeing that moisture like we have for the last few weeks. But tonight, it is going to pick up. Looks like we will be seeing some clouds returning. In fact, temperatures right now are a little cooler than yesterday by 9 degrees for Santa Cruz and Watsonville. Also, rather windy. Winds coming in from the north-northwest, anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour. A little gusty earlier. I saw a gust of 30 miles per hour in Greenfield. Here's the sunshine we had this morning. You can see satellite picking up on just some high clouds across the area. And we did have some clouds with some sunshine early and then lots of sunshine this afternoon. It looks like we're going to have similar conditions to what we've been seeing as we typically see in September. Morning low clouds. Those are going to reach a little farther inland uh, expected for tomorrow morning versus this morning. And I also think this will fill in a little more near the coast, but I think that model picks up on it well after midnight tonight into the early morning. Temps right now seeing 60s to 70, 74 in Soquel right now. And the forecast for tomorrow, take a look at this, only 85 in Fresno, Bakersfield. Yeah, that's a good sign that our inland valleys are really only going to be in the 70s, maybe 80s. I have to talk about the national view heat in the central part of the country, but then on the east coast because of all that wet weather, cool temperatures, but rather tropical. And here it is, tropical storm Florence. You can see its impact on coastal Carolinas. The watches and warnings throughout the day. This yellow is a tornado watch for most of the lower lying areas of uh, North Carolina and also some tornado warnings that are currently active and that's typically where it happens at northeast quadrant of the storm. So here's the center of the storm and that interaction of the winds provides that spin for tornadoes. Also lots of moisture. We've been talking about it still going to be funneling up very uh, powerful rainfall, heavy rainfall, not looking to light up anytime soon. In fact, looks like it'll continue to fall uh, for most of the Carolinas through this weekend. And then finally, by the end of the week, Weekend. That system is expected to pull up and leave them be, but the problem is going to be all of the rivers rising, and that could be a problem that could go on for weeks. Forecast for this evening, temperatures in the 40s to 50s, patchy bay fog, some areas of low clouds, a little cooler and, and damper, and we are going to see those 40s and 50s once again. Last night, though, we did have lots of mid-40s because of the lack of cloud cover in some areas. But I think we'll be seeing a little bit more of that to start tomorrow. And then a beautiful day. Look at that. 80 degrees for Morgan Hill, San Juan Bautista, and then only 85 in the Pinnacles. So good indication we're finally cooling down there. Mid-60s to mid-70s, a sunny afternoon, an afternoon sea breeze. And for the mountains and valleys, you're only going to be in the 70s to 80s. So pretty comfortable, pleasant day, good for outdoor activities. But a little gusty in the afternoon, so keep that in mind if you do have plans outside. 60s to 70s all week long, maybe a little warming trend near the coast for the middle of the week. And then inland, you're going to be staying with lots of 70s. Pretty nice forecast for this time of year. There you go. Yeah. Okay.